How's everyone doing today, guys? Uh, you know, this might be your first time seeing this video, it might be your second time, or it might be your third time, because this is the third time I've had to re-upload this video. And now I know, I, what, what are you thinking, you know, why is this guy re-uploading this video so much? What, is he insane? Yes, I am. But, uh, no, I really just want this video to be out because I thought this was a really good episode. And I, obviously I don't want, like, one episode of the show to be excluded from, like, my channel. So I'm really trying to get this video right. And the copyright system is just uh, bending me over a little bit, to be honest. But, um, you know, third time's the charm, they say, so let's hope this one stays up longer for than a day, you know? But anyway, if this is your third time watching this and you watch it through, I love you. Also, I forgot to add, episode 6 should be out tomorrow. That is December 1st. Uh, episode 6 should be out then. I've just been struggling to upload that one and edit it with all of this copyright issue going on, but it should be up tomorrow. I apologize for how long it's been for a new episode, technically. How's everyone doing today, guys? Today we're going to be watching the fifth episode of Game of Thrones Season 1. Uh, you know, last episode was really good. If you haven't seen my reaction to it, I definitely would go watch it. I had a lot to say after that uh, episode, especially a lot to say with about Daenerys, because Daenerys had an absolutely fantastic episode and I love the direction that they're pushing her character in now and realizing that she doesn't need Viserys and Viserys is the worst human in the show. Like, I even like Sansa more than Viserys which is saying something right now. But yeah no I, I just thought it was a really really good episode and I'm really excited to get into this one. So let's go. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with Tyrion though because I know he just got captured by Catelyn Stark. So I'm interested to see what they're going to do with him in that scenario because all of her family is in the capital right now with Jaime and Cersei. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that works out. It's all fat bit, aren't it? Fat. <laughs> fat, is it? Tell them how it is, Ned. Is how you speak to your king? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it's funny, is it? <laughs> Yo, Robert is something else. No. Come, bow before your king. Bow your shits. <laughs> Robert just has that infectious laugh, man. It makes me want to fucking just smile every time I hear it. Thank you, Sir Loris. Ooh, what was that look? Don't let Sir Gregor hurt him. What the hell is he gonna do? Ooh! <laughs> wow! And tell me, Lord Renly, when will you be having your friend? Oh? Uh, okay, I think I get what he's putting down. Okay. Let's Oh my god! Yo, some yeah, someone stop him! He can't be legal! Oh, here we go! Oh! Ooh! They got he knelt! I got found! What sort of imbecile arms an assassin with his own blade? That is true. Why? Am I starting to make sense? <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, hey! Let's go, Tyrion! Well, I think that just proves there that he would not have killed your son. He just saved your life. Nothing like a woman after a fight. I'm willing if she is. <laughs> you are the king's hand, and the king is a fool. Your friend, I know, but a fool. Oh wow! Doomed unless you save him. I, I don't know how to feel no, about like Varys. He seems like a very mysterious figure so far. I would like. What sort of a doom does the king face? The same sort as John Arryn. Ooh. The tears of Lys, they call it. A rare and costly thing. As clear and tasteless as water, it leaves no trace. Oh my god, he knows everything. Who paid Sir Hugh? 
Who has the gold? No could afford it. John was a man of peace. He was hanged for 17 years, 17 good years. Why kill him? He started asking questions. Oh, oh, oh I'm getting the heebie-jeebies right now. This is getting good. Whoa. So they're talking about they want the war to start, but they want to wait for Khal Drogo to come with Daenerys, I'm assuming. That was Viser that was I mean that was Varys and uh I don't know who that dude he was walking with though. A certain foreign dignitary council business. Of course you would have friends from across the manor. Oh he's every oh my god. They're like playing who's got the bigger dick right now, and I think Lord Baelish just won. <laughs> there be news from far away. Haven't you heard? <laughs> no, I love that interaction. They were just one up in each other at every step. My father is hanged the king. I'm not a boy, I'm Arya Stark of Winterfell. And if you lay a hand on me, my father will have both your heads on sight. Now are you going to let me by, or do I need to smack you on the ear to help with your hearing? No one. Let's sit in private, my lord. Oh, is this about uh, Tyrion? That his wife took him. Sure, take a seat. She's taken the imp. Oh my god. King's Landing is about to be a war zone, guys. A war zone. Whoa. That is a cool castle. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Then we're no better than the Mad King. Oh. Oh. I knew it. He looked weird as hell when she told him that. Ooh, I don't even know. I don't know. I mean, I get both sides. Like, ah. Uh. It's true, but at the same time, how do you just kill her with no regard? Damn, he took it off! How do you say that to your best friend? Is there blood on the wall there? Oh, wait a minute. Jesus! Stealing all our crops and livestock, enslaving all our women and children. Mm. How long do the people of the Seven Kingdoms stand behind that? You know, honestly, I think I might be on Robert's side about killing Daenerys now. Like, from his point of view, it makes a lot of sense. behind one leader with one purpose mmm our purpose Wow with the mad king. Now wow what a what a sentence with gold in their purses backstabbing and scheming and arsenal mmm it's enough to make a man go crazy together our marriage <laughs> I think that's the first genuine moment I've seen between them. Seven, seven kingdoms couldn't put the whole she left behind. Well, I just got goosebumps. Ooh. Wow, these two characters are something else. 
the more I learn about uh, Robert Baratheon, the more it's just like his life is just tragic, and like I feel so bad for him. But at the same time, like he does, he doesn't help himself. But like I don't know. Oh no, what's going on? What is going on? I don't like this. Jamie, I feel like I haven't seen you forever. Ooh! Oh no, here we go. We're gonna get Jamie versus uh, Ned. Oh, shucky ducky. Ooh. Come on, let's go. Jory versus Jamie. <gasps> Ned, get on his ass. Let's go, Ned. Come on. Oh, no, you're surrounded. Yo, this is crazy. Ooh. Ooh, he's good. Ooh, he's good. Jamie's a little nervous. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> My brother, Lord Stark. I want him back. What an ending, guys. Oh my god. Like... So Jory is completely dead. Jamie just <laughs> right in his eye. I thought they were going to have a little good fight, but no, it was over in two seconds. Oh my God. And Ned, seeing Ned and Jamie fight was awesome. Like they were pretty equal. I would say it looked like it looked like Jamie was a little nervous there for a second, but then that fucking Kadoosh came from behind and got him right in the leg. That's ridiculous. That shouldn't be. At least Jamie punched him in the face. Like, yeah, dude, what's your issue? You can't be doing that. But, wow, I did not expect that to happen. There was no news of, like, Jamie or Cersei or anyone finding out about Tyrion. So I thought that would be, like, the next episode or something. But it just came out of nowhere. I don't know. Wow. I actually don't even... I need to process what happened the rest of this episode. Okay, so we heard uh, about... I kind of touched on it earlier, how Varys and... I'm pretty sure that was the dude that Daenerys and Viserys were staying at. Uh, they were talking and basically saying, like, yes, we want war, but we don't want it yet. It's almost like they were... But then why would Varys be saying that they need to kill Daenerys? Maybe I have this all wrong. I don't even know. Maybe at that point Varys didn't know that uh, Daenerys was pregnant or something like that. But ultimately, if Daenerys does have a son. Also, did we get any Daenerys in this episode? I don't think we did. Huh. But, no, that's just crazy, guys. And, like, wow, the mystery about Jon Aaron's getting really interesting about him finding all these bastards and asking too many questions. I'm very interested to see, like, what they're talking about here because, like, they keep talking about Robert's bastard kids and stuff like that. And I'm a little confused on, like, why they keep bringing that up. Or, like, there has to be something that I'm not seeing yet. But I feel like they've dropped enough hints to where I should be able to tell, but I'm just not yet. I don't know. I'm sure I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. But this was a really, really good episode, honestly. And um, that ending was just crazy. And there's some characters I'm still kind of iffy on on whether or not I like them or not. Uh, Baelish and... Uh, the spider, what's his name, Varys. Uh, I'm not sure if I like him yet. I, I don't really get what their motives are. But, um, Robert is just a tragic character, and, like, it's hard to feel sorry for Cersei, but there are times, like, the episode with, the episode, the conversation with, uh, her and Robert was a very, just, like, tragic all around for both of them, so I felt a little bad for her there, but it's really hard to feel bad for her when she is who she is. But, um, 
yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. You know, I'll talk more about the stuff in this episode next time on the next episode. But for now, peace out.